Hello guys, good morning. It's another happy day from my allotment. Uh, back in winter, I have posted two videos regarding how to germinate the seam uri or high chain seed first and how to protect them from the fungal infection. I'm really happy and glad to show you how those plants have been doing on the ground. As you can see, uh, the beans are blooming heavily. You can see the extent of the blooming which has taken place on the plants already. Um, today is a bit cloudy because of that uh, the view might not be very clear but still you can see the, uh, the bloom of the beans in abundance. I'm really glad to show you those blooming. Second week of May I took them to the ground as you can see the view of the ground so the ground has been prepared as is always with the horse manure and uh, some other fertilizer then i have planted those beans in four lines as you can see here there are four lines of bean plants and uh, the distance in between the plants is uh, more than a feet as you can see distance in between the line is again one feet so there are four lines on the other side there are three lines so after planting them at the month of may i just water them when needed obviously because of the rainfall i didn't have to water them much uh, but what i did every fortnight i have applied uh, the tomato feeder actually the tomato feeder helped them to grow fast uh, i mean the bind so when uh, the bloom start to appear or before when you think that the plant is prepared or ready for the blooming you should stop uh, feeding the tomato using the tomato feeder because it contains nitrogen so if you put if you feed too much nitrogen on the plants they will be overgrown the vine will be overgrown but you will not get the crops so you can carry on feeding the nitrogen or uh, the tomato feed until uh, before uh, blooming starts when the blooming start you don't have to do anything else just water them uh, then sh it should be fine so that's what i did and uh, obviously you can see they have been blooming very nicely and i already have got some beans in the plants as you can see the beans and some of them are in fact mature to be harvested so I'm going to harvest them soon. Whichever is matured, I will be harvesting. I will be harvesting them soon. And uh, there are four types of bean. This is a bit different. This is a bit white and a bit kind of flat, as you can see. This is another types of bean I have collected from different sources. As you can see, they are a bit purple color and uh, deep purple and long. As opposed to this one this is green and flat and this is another one this is a bit uh, thick and flashy as you can see here this plant has got lots of beans in fact as you can see here I'm really glad this year with the bean and um, obviously uh, as you all know in especially in UK the temperature was not that good I mean it's not the temperature was not as high as it mean to be in summer obviously the bean those bean uh, loves temperature without proper temperature they doesn't grow so whatever the bloom I have got here, my worry is today is uh, 20th of uh, August, so I don't have much time left. So I wonder if I have got enough time for those flower to turn into bean. As you can see here, the extent of the blooming. So I wish the temperature will remain as it is now for another three weeks 
I hope within next few weeks those flowers will turn into guinea so that I can take them home. They are looking so beautiful. Those uh, bunch, uh, I kept them for seed next year to be grown, so I will let them to get fully matured. Otherwise, they should have been harvested. They are fully matured. Obviously, I will keep them to collect seed for the next year. This is the other types. This is my seed. I have been growing this one, this particular bean, for the last three years. So, as I said, there are four types of bean. Again, you can see the extent of the bloom from that side. So some people love to grow uh, beans on the bamboo can, as I have used those can, as you can see here, those can. But you know, you, have, you must have noticed one thing is, uh, I have got more flower, more blooming on the trellis than the cane. That's why every year I use the trellis instead of just using the cane. As you can see here, there are more flowers on the trellis than the cane. Obviously, if you have got more vines, then you'll have the more uh, flowers, and more flowers will bring more fruits, as simple as that. But on the bamboo cane, there is very limited space for the plants to, for the vines to grow and climb. That's why I use the trellis instead of using just the bamboo cane. In this plant there are lots of beans there as you can see. There are lots of beans in fact. Obviously it's not sunny today because of that you might not be able to see the extent of the bean. So again, those one I kept them to be fully matured so that I can collect the seeds for the for the next year. This plant has got lots of beans in fact. Now, this is the three lines I talked about. So those are the four lines at the front and these are the three lines at the back. And as you can see, there are quite a few beans here. Again, those at the bottom, I kept them to get matured so that I can collect the bin for the next year. I don't want to buy the seed every year. Obviously, I don't trust a lot the seeds that are being sold online. So rather I try to keep my own seed. This is a flat one, as I have shown in the earlier part of the video. 
and this is the, again my own seed which I have been growing for the last three four years this is the fourth year in fact yes and uh, I love this bin it's quite flashy and very tasty so next year I'll be growing mostly this bean and a few other of the remaining three beans I've got on the ground. So that's it from me today. I would like to request you, as is always, if you like the video, please don't forget to press the like button and share with others. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Bye.